What's going on, guys? Fully here from Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on YouTube with your favorite co-host, Cody Banker. Uh, the reason why everybody loves him so much is because he gives super honest feedback on these From the Gallery episodes. If you don't know, From the Gallery, we take your trucks that you've loaded into the gallery at customoffsets.com forward slash ad. We take them, we review them, give them a number between 1 and 10. And Cody is always brutally honest with the uh, reviews, which is why people love him so much. And he hates everything that's not a Chevy. So today's episode is all about Chevys. And you may also notice I'm wearing my red pants. And that's because this also angers people on the internet. So I figured we'll just, so just bring all that anger together. You know? We're just gonna uh, make everybody mad today. Exactly. I love it. So uh, with that being said, we'll jump right into it. And like I said, this is only Chevys this episode. So these are gonna be- uh, Tens for everybody. <laughs> and we're done. I Video's have, over. I have a feeling that's how it's gonna go. <laughs> 2015 Chevy Silverado 1500, American Forces, the 24 by 14s, and he's got Amp Attack Mud Terrains, 37 by 13 and a half, and it's on a nine and a half inch McGoy suspension lift, which means it's probably got some stacked stuff. Yeah, it's a nine and a half in the front. Yeah, it's a little bit squatted. See, Cody, you can't give all these guys tens. I knew we'd be able to find something for you. Here's a side shot. It's not, it's not super squatted, but there's some squat going on there. Yeah, 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 a little bit. All yeah. right, have you seen enough pictures? Can you give it a rating? See the. Is there a good front shot here? I can't mm, quite. Not a straight on, but there are lots of pictures. Okay, I was just trying to see if it was an SS kit or not, and it is. Oh, there we go, okay. Kaboom. Okay. All right, three, two, one, nine. Six. Six? Holy cow! Explain why. Uh, he went really cheap with the tires. Yeah. Amps. Um, I, I mean, we're here to make everybody angry this episode. <laughs> Lift kit and wheels is not a build. <laughs> I'm glad you bought forces, but you could have done something else. You have halogen headlights. I'm cool. It's cool that your fog lights turn on. I mean, yeah, I'm happy for you. Corner lights and fog lights. But the rest of the truck is bone stock. It even has chrome bumpers. Like, it's a clean truck. Don't get me wrong, but um, there's not enough done to it for me to rate it higher than that. All right. So I gave it a pretty high score because he, yes, he has cheap tires. I get that. And I'm big on tires, so I usually like to see a little little nicer tire. These things though, like for the price you pay, I mean, they get the job done and they look pretty decent. I like that uh, he went with a 13 and a half, so he at least didn't try to stretch a 12 and a half onto the forces. True. So you got that. And then it does, overall, if you just take brands out of it, you stand back, you look at it, polished wheels, he's got chrome bumpers, like it all ties in really nice, but at the same time, right. I would have liked to see a bit more, like if you do, color match bumpers and get you know LED headlights right. get rid of the chrome mirrors that kind of stuff I think it would look cleaner in my opinion but for what he's working with pretty decent looking truck move on to the next one holy Whoa. green hey, wow okay 06 silver out 2500 license plate says douchebag that is awesome uh <laughs> XD's 820's don't you have those grenades looks like it yep and uh 20 by 12 negative 44 and then he's on Toyota proxies street tires the ST uh, 30550, and it's on a 3.5 drop. He's got two inch spacers in the rear. That's kind of, why would they put two inch spacers in the rear? This kit shouldn't push the front out. Yeah, that's weird. That doesn't look like a 3.5 drop at all, to be honest with you. That looks like a stock two drop, but hey, whatever. Stock front and pulled blocks in the rear. Yeah. Well, that's what it says. It's what it says. So we gotta go with it. All right. Okay. Um, good photos, like kind of dark here, but like good quality. Well, it has least. to be dark to show the lights. Yeah, he's got uh, these like Oracle, those are probably Oracle with yeah. LED rings. It could be LED concepts, you don't know. It could be. Is this a high, like hydro dip Chevy bag? Yeah, yeah, he's got tons all of, sorts of, tons uh, of hydro dip stuff going on inside, so yeah. I'm just guessing he's hydro dip. Dirty girl. Fabrication. Aha. He's got a stack. Just one. Of course he does. It's a diesel. Oh boy. It's a, the dirty girl. Yes. I get it. Six six. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. Time for a number. Three. Oh, I got wait, I should think about it. Three, two, one, six. Eight. So now I give it a six and you give it an eight. So I gave it I gave it a six because uh, I just I I can't get over the fact that it's got a stack and I'm not a huge fan of that. The whole Dirty Girl sticker on the back is too much for me. And yeah, I, there's just something about putting street tires on trucks that I just still am not comfortable with. Sure. 
see, I'm gonna go, here, here's my reasoning. He's clearly, it, that's not a factory green color. No. Um, so he's put some effort in there. It's got aftermarket headlights. It's got a lot done under the hood and he didn't just do performance. He actually like went above and like hydro dipped it and painted yeah. it and made it. He's got, the, you know, um, the halos, the underglow, all of that stuff. So he, there's some thought put into this truck. I don't like the SS bumper cover on this it application. Fit, I don't think it fits well on 2500s. No, and it, it, he's got like off-road flares, and then the 2500, it, it, the the SS bumper, it's a little bit weird. Um, it's cool, you know, 420s. I get it. It's a diesel, drag truck, diesel power, whatever. I also don't like the dirty girl on the tailgate, personally, or the giant sticker <laughs> in the back window. Maybe it's a Florida thing. But I get it, you know. Um, I'm also not a huge fan of stacks, but again, I get it. You went the extra, you, I don't agree with it, but I understand that, you know. It's not like, at you least, did, at least not you like did cutting, something. cutting a muffler off. Like, you actually have to put work in yeah. to get a stack. Yeah. So, like, I know people already are probably gonna be angry because they're like, wait, Fuller said in the last one, if he did paint and stuff, then he'd rate it higher. And then we get to one that's got <laughs> paint and stuff, and I rated it lower. He's a hypocrite, folks. It's, well, it's all it comes down to. All right. Oh, I like this. <laughs> of course I do. I right? can't even see it. This comp well, Taylor, glare, clean your, com <laughs> clean your computer. Uh, uh, 2017 Silverado 1500. Sitting on Method NVs, the most popular method that we sell. 17 by eight and a half plus zero. And of course, BF Goodrich Alterian TA KO2s. 285 75s. And he's got uh, the Fox uh, suspension lift, so two and a half inch. Uh, <laughs> Nice, don't knock it off. Just mean that if we wreck your MacBook. So Fox makes these lift coils that, I don't know, I think they perform really well. Uh, we put those in rub some Tacoma. Yeah. They're pretty sweet. Looks good, I like this paint color. There's only two photos, which uh, we always like to see more photos in the gallery ad. I thought that said Mexico at first, but just says New Mexico. But it is the illest land of enchantment. That's great. In case you're wondering. Right. Um, is that? Is that it? Factory running boards, right? Yeah. Big beefy tires. Yeah, okay. Got a number? I have a number just, just to yeah. make you mad. Yeah, I have a number. Okay. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Ten. Six. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Why a 10? Because I love methods and I love how functional this setup is. This is the perfect everyday driver. Perfect everyday driver. Are your everyday driving on back roads? I mean, yeah. I live okay. with sticks. There's a stick <laughs> in his backyard is what he means. I have a tree. <laughs> you live five miles from me, if that. I know. Two miles. I know. All right, so here's mine. Um, it's going to be a lot of the same things that you've heard me say before. I like the methods. I hate the tires. BFGs were awesome. Awesome tires in the 90s. They haven't changed since then. There's a lot better tread patterns out there. Oh God. Oh look, more car guys. Can we just, I think Get, he can fit. Keep coming. Are you gonna hit the tripod? Oh yeah, he's gonna hit the camera. There's Jared in his truck. Bye Jared. <sighs> anyway, Anyway, saying. I hate the running boards. I mean, I get it, so you can get in and out of it, but. I would take those off. See, yeah. Give me, okay, so it's nine and a half. Okay, no, no, now we're better. Great. And um, I mean, if you're gonna go full off-road theme, why has it got the stock bumper? Just saying. So yeah, this isn't a, I'm not gonna say it's a full off-road theme. I just think it's a nice, aggressive daily driver setup that if you wanna take it on the trails on the weekends, you can do so. You got the foxes on there, so you're not gonna like beat the crap out of your suspension. Oh sure. I think it would perform well. It's not gonna be a Baja truck, but it's gonna perform decently. And it, I don't know, it looks cool. You, the Method Bronze, is it looks, probably the best bronze color out there. Yeah, it looks the part that truck's not, the truck as it sits is not very off-road worthy, but I mean, you can probably do some stuff with it. I can't tell if the bumper is cut or if you just ruined the valence because yeah, the pictures are dark and yeah. it's weird out here. It's bright. And I can't see the screen very well, but. And with the BFGs, so there's always people that make the argument like, well, if they put them stock on the Raptor, they're good for something. That means so. Ford got them cheap, folks. <laughs> Don't kid yourselves. All right, kicking it old school. Woo! Yeah. Billy Bob. Here we go. 1985 Chevrolet K10, uh, Moto Metal 962s, the most common wheel ever, 20 uh, by 12, negative 44s, and Mickey Thompson Baja 8 MTZ. Oh, I thought it was ATZ. 38 by 15 and a half, eight inch suspension, probably a super. It's probably a, like a Rancho or something we don't carry, so it's not listed. Mm. Just saying. 
I just feel like every K10 is a super lift or a skyjacker. That's true. Do we have a skyjacker in our state? Nope. Oh, he's got a camper thing what? for the bed. What's going on with this? What is, what is this paint? I thought it was blue in the first photo, and I look at these, and it's black. Yeah, I think this one's just really edited. Yeah. Well, I don't know what's going on with that camper thing. I don't know, but this... He's got the Fox sticker. Gotta have that. Oh, there we go. There was a smudge on the screen, and it looked like he had ghost flames or I, something. I thought the same thing. <laughs> All right. Uh, he's got the uh, the old round, like, hella style lights. Did you see the square ones under the bumper? No. Oh. Oh, down there. Nice. So there's like older photos and newer photos, I feel like, because this one doesn't have the round legs and he's got those. Oh yeah. Different headlights. Hmm. Okay. Do you have your number? I have my number. Three, two, one. Nine. Three. Are you joking? This is the perfect daily driver. No, it's not. It, absolutely. <laughs> this is more capable than your 2019 with 33s. I mean, more capable. Maybe just because it's taller, but I don't. It probably sounds a lot cooler too. Yes. Is this 85 carb rated still? Carb. It looks cooler. I don't. I don't agree that it looks cooler. I don't know. I like. It's a straight so, axle truck. Uh, if it was a 70s truck, 60s or 70s, I'm all for it. Probably not lifted though. I'd probably lower one of those. I did, the 80s and 90s trucks just don't do it for me. It's a, Sorry, it's you're a so much older body. than. Like so much older, trucks. so much older. It's a beautiful truck. Um, I really wish I had one of these just to drive around and sometimes. Well, maybe throw some hay bales in Captain back. M. Rogers will, will sell it to you. Um, yeah, I went with a three because I just it's Motor Metal 962s, which everybody has, so it's it's nothing special there. Mm -hmm. The Mickey Thompson Baja MTZ. I don't, I don't, I'm not a big fan of that tire. That's just personal reasons and. I don't know, I just, I couldn't see myself rolling to work in this kind of thing. I couldn't see myself driving this on the weekends. Yeah, same. And I guarantee you, you. somebody in the comments is like, uh, you're wearing red pants, there ain't no way that you're gonna be <laughs> yeah, in there. This man would rip his pants trying to get in that truck. I'm short, all right, give me a break. Woo! We got fans all over the place. Fans People. in a Nissan Murano, it's a black one. <laughs> if you're watching the video, shout out to you. Okay. Uh, this is a, something different here too. 2010 Chevy Avalanche. Sitting on some Archons, 22 by 12, negative 51s. It's got Furies and a six and a half inch zone. Are these coil sprung in the rear? Yep. Oh boy. Yep. Uh, so tow mirrors. Sure. Factory color match paint. Yep. And that is all, plus the wheels, tires, lift. A little bit of trim in. Yep, minor plastic. Major plastic. It says my, oh, major, Ooh, yikes. Yep, that, that is, yep. yep. Yep, that's how you spell that. Yep, <laughs> words. <laughs> okay, got a number? Um, yes. Okay, are you sure? You seem hesitant. I seem hesitant. I'm gonna count it down. Three, two, one, eight Six and a half. Six and a half. Six and a half. <laughs> I like the extra bump. So I went with the <laughs> eight and a half because I actually do really like the Avalanche. I think it's kind of like, a slightly classier version of a pickup truck for the guys that are these your pink pants talking <laughs> they're nice trucks <laughs> if you somebody's gonna say that it's not a truck but i think they're a nice truck it's I a like, tr it's i a like truck. this by style the 07 to 13 by style it's an SUV. rather than the sure. previous one i hate that it's coil sprung in the rear because at six and a half inches of lift this thing driving down the road is like whoa you don't know where you're going that that's where my you really took a deduction on that. I took a deduction on that. I took a bigger deduction for the HD tow mirrors on the Avalanche. I'm sorry. They're not even the right generation for the truck. I hate yeah, when they put like yeah. the new on the old. In. No. Um, Cause like they're, they're tipped this way and they just don't look right. Um, yeah. Again, with with everything else, I mean, it's a clean-ish truck. I wish I wish there was a little bit more done to it. I understand it's an avalanche. There's not a whole lot out there There's for really for parts. Um, you wanted a good kit that got you up there. So I mean, the zone kit for what it is for an avalanche is overall a, a pretty good kit. Yeah, and it's seventeen hundred bucks, which I feel like is not bad for a, a zone kit's a good kit. Right. Especially like you're saying, like there's not a lot out there for avalanches. So. All right, kind of a strange one to end it on. Avalanche is a little wonky. Yeah. Some people hate it, some people love it. It's a decent, decent truck. Um, yeah. 
you call it a truck. So that's it. That's your episode of From the Gallery. If you want your vehicle featured, first off, it's got to be added. CustomOffsets.com forward slash add. And that's how you get it in there. If you already have a truck or you're trying to figure out what fits, that's what the gallery is designed for. CustomOffsets.com forward slash gallery. Enter your new year, make, model. Boom, there's a sales pitch. Come with the website. Do the thing. Buy the stuff. So I can keep making more videos. If you want it built, you know, get hold of me. Cody does the actual building. We just play on the internet. Peace.